this is Erin from the Science Off Center team here at the St. Louis Science Center with an experiment you can do at home. Today we are going to be experimenting with acetone. Now acetone can be really fun because it can break down plastics, it can dissolve plastics. Acetone is the stuff that's a nail polish remover and that's what breaks down the nail polish because nail polish is made out of plastics, these long polymer chains. This is more concentrated though, so if you're going to be experimenting with this, you'll need to check with your parents, make sure you have eye protection, some rubber gloves, and you'll need to protect your surface if it's made out of plastic. So for example, if you have a laminate table like ours, you want to cover it with something that's not plastic. So what you're going to do is you're going to pour some acetone into a shallow bowl like I have here. And then you're going to dissolve a kind of plastic you all like, styrofoam. I used an egg carton, it doesn't have to be. So you're going to put it in there and let acetone do its magic and dissolve those plastics. And it happens pretty quickly, especially if the acetone is fairly fresh. If it's been out for a while, the acetone can evaporate. So if it's not working quickly, it's probably because the acetone isn't new enough. You can also use a spoon to help get it in there. And then it turns into this mush stuff. It's called slag. And you can see that that big egg carton is, is really not made of very much stuff. But we're going to take this stuff, this, this plastic, and we're going to put it into a plastic bag. Now, if you're thinking about the fact that this is full of acetone, which is also plastic, and we're putting it into a plastic bag, well, you're right to have some concern. This won't last long. Um, it won't last overnight by any means. The acetone will start dissolving the bag too, but it takes a little bit longer with sturdier plastic like this, so we have time to do our experiment. So you take what used to be the styrofoam, it's now this plastic goopy stuff, and put it into a little sandwich baggie. It can get pretty stringy, but that's okay. Then you have it in there if you want, since we're going to be doing a, a little decorative project, you can add some glitter just for fun. Next you're going to seal it up and squish it all down into one corner. Think of it as we're going to use this like you would decorate a cake, only we're going to do our decorations with plastic. So slide it all down into one corner. If you have the glitter you'll need to um, mix it up a little bit more too. And then once you have, once you have a bit in a corner there, you'll be ready to trim one of the corners off, just like you would for an icing bag. I recommend starting with a very small hole, then you can always make it wider, but smaller is better to start. Next, get some wax paper and you'll be ready to decorate. You can see we have our wax paper here, and now I'm just going to squeeze out our plastic in fun patterns. You can make spirals, you can make zigzags, whatever patterns you want that you think would be make a fun door decoration or a a Christmas tree ornament or anything else like that. And some of it gets stuck to your hands, that's okay. There we go. So then all you have to do is let it sit overnight. The acetone will evaporate, it will harden, and you'll have a fun little decoration. So here's what it's like after it's had a chance to harden and I put a ribbon on it to use as decoration for hanging it. 
So you can experiment with different colors of glitter, different kinds of styrofoam, and see what makes the coolest designs.